Well, hello, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players. I am Juddleplays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And we're going to start by reading the back of... Actually, let's read the front of the sign before the back of the sign. Turf war between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up. Apparently. Best stay indoors. Or, pr that's probably Robos instead of Robos, but... As I kind of already spoiled, you can read the back of this sign, Graffiti Corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rogueport. I think I'm smitten. Podley's best customer. Oh, okay. If you want to know, this place is Podley's. This is basically an item shop. You can come here, buy a few things. Let's, uh... Let, as of now, I'm just going to be buying a mushroom from here. Okay, oh no, this is talking about shop points, okay. So every time you buy something, you get a shop point, and I believe after you get a certain amount of shop points, you get... Or, did I say shop points? No. After you get a certain amount of shop points, you can then get like a free item or whatever. I believe there might be a sign in each area or something. I'm not exact... Oh, shoot. Okay, never mind. Uh, what I had to do there was I had to say no. There we go. Now I can actually buy this thing. There we go. It's It's been a while since... Oh my god. Okay, this is explaining items. Jesus Christ. I I, I don't want to go in depth of talking about this stuff. I just want to get a mushroom and a honey syrup because those might work for later. And I believe this show... Oh, yep. This shows you how many points you need to get each thing. I'm not exactly sure what the gold bars do, but I'm probably never going to be getting over like 100 points because even though I would say at the beginning of the game, it's probably pretty... Like, it's nice that you can buy the stuff in the shops, but as you get further in the game, you'll find out that you really don't need to go to the shops that often. Now, this is the inn here. There are a few characters on the right that I'm not going to be showing yet, because those are going to be for later. But if we go and talk to this toad right here... Did, did Goombella just come up from the floor? I, I didn't... I'm not exactly sure, because I kind of just saw her jump weirdly. Welcome to the lone refuge in this part of... In this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? I will stay there. This inn is really good because it does cost money to use an inn to get healed. I decided to use this because this is like one of the only ways to heal right now other than using an item. And there is no way I'm going to be using that mushroom or the honey syrup for a while. Oh yeah, I never actually explained that. The mushroom... The mushroom will heal your HP, and then the honey syrup will replenish your SP. Now, I believe if we go over here, we'll uh, activate a kind of a cutscene. Freeze. You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Oh, I don't know why this person's crazy. Oh, I guess that's where it was. Ah, idiot. You stepped on it, my poor contact lens. I didn't yell that because I didn't feel like making my throat hurt. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? <laughs> it's like, I was not thinking. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're going to pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. <laughs> I really do like how Mario's like, no, I I'm not I'm not gonna compensate you. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. And as much as you try, you cannot get past this person. Even though you can kind of get past them, it will not let you go there. So what we have to do is we have to go back into Podley's place and kind of set an order for a contact lens. I probably should have done this a different time. Hey there, fella. Welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. What can I do for you? Uh, actually, let's talk to this guy. I believe it's this guy we have to talk to. Welcome. Yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Uh, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? <laughs> Wait just a moment. I'm telling you, we, we don't have contact lenses. I mean, what do we do? Like, who wants contact lenses from the Toad Bazaar? Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? 
and that will come up a little bit later. So let's just say now we cannot go to the west side, but we have no reason to go to the west side right now. I would go back here, but there's going to be an event happening really soon that's going to make us go back there anyways, so I'm not going to do that. Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? You see that save block in front of that inn? Since we're here, you ought to save now. Just jump up and hit the block to save, okay? I mean, I kind of already saved, but I guess I'll save again. There we go. It's pretty fast if you just mash the A button going through the saving. There's no need to read the text at all. But once we go here, something uh, cool is about to happen. Like that. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Wait, 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 why do my pockets feel a little, a little more empty? I'm not exactly sure why. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. So yeah, you could spend some of your coins and lose less in the half, but there's something you can actually do. I'm pretty sure most people know about this. I definitely did not know about this the first time I played the game. I think I watched a Let's Play to find out what to do, and now watch as the world turns and possibly makes people with motion sickness throw up. But, what we can do is if we go into this house right here, we can uh, talk to a uh, good old this guy and see if he has our money. Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a plan. Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. So yeah, you get your coins back. For a second, I'm like, why aren't my coins replenishing? Oh, wait a second. Let's go back in that place. I, I, I just want to... Oh my god. Oh my god, look, look at all the bugs here. I mean, you can't really kill them, but Jesus Christ. And also, I'm not exactly sure why there's a whole bunch of newspaper here. But then again, there... Oh, wait a second. I see something. Is that... There it is. That is a star piece. Those are collectibles you can get in this game. I'm not even sure if I ever got that in my first... Uh, my actual, like, longest playthrough of this game. So that's pretty cool. Let's actually go around here to see if there's anything else worth noting. No, it's just a weird Goomba with a weird hat. I'm not exactly sure why these Goombas have, uh, Link hats on. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm also not exactly sure what this weird bear thing is. I, I have no- oh, I have no idea. Sorry if that sounded weird, but I think there might be another- Yep, there's another star piece right there. Sorry, I- I may go out of my way to get some star pieces in this game, just because I kind of know where a decent amount of them are. Also, you can kind of, like, sneak back here if you want to, but there is no real reason to sneak back here as of now. I- well, there's a star piece there, so you can do that. That wasn't me going out of my way for a star piece. But, let's just say that those star pieces will definitely be used later. And also, we cannot go over here yet because there's a fence in the way. And also, we can't go over there because there's this guy in the way. Let me actually talk to this guy just to see what happens. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail. Head, no, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without pain, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. And, uh, yeah, let's say I'm not paying. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. And we are not going to be messing with that guy, because let's just say he gets into a fight with you, and we are nowhere near powerful enough to fight that guy. At least I don't think we are as of now. Oh, hi, uh, there you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, uh, yes, you. Now you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me. Now, silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. Um. <laughs> oh god. Aha! I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Well, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at U Goom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering, even though it took a little bit to remember there. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor? He's Mario, you know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. Well, I mean, as of this point, Mario had kind of been a thing for, I believe, almost 20 years at this point. 19 years to be exact. Actually, he technically was in Donkey Kong, which might have been 1983 or 84, so it could have been 21 years at the most. But I'm not going to be getting into stuff I 
don't exactly know all this stuff too, if that makes sense. In any case, what sort of errands bring you two all the way to a place like this? Uh, we were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But, uh, why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously, isn't- no, obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But, all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the Crystal Stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven Crystal Stars to the Thousand Year Door! I remember that childhood nursery rhyme! You mean the Crystal Stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Oh, I, I mean, not that old, but indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if it's the magical map is taken to, th if the magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct and the Thousand Year Door is supposedly here, deep beneath the town. Yet, the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. Uh, I mean, I mean, we have the map, so, so it's, it's kind of pretty good. What? <laughs> really? You, you actually have it? Could I j just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good map. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario. Off we must go, this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Oh boy, my throat's gonna hurt after all this reading through this Let's Play, and for some reason it looked like the frame rate dropped slightly. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> and to show that this game's paper, that effect, even though that kind of wasn't really a paper effect, we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. And let us do that. Now, actually, we're going to be getting interrupted by text again. Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? Yes, we do. Really? A master are you? Maybe you just ought- I am fine. If you say that you need practice here, he'll make you go through a tutorial talking about, like, all the action commands and stuff with using attacks, like your jump and hammer, and then also guarding with your B guard and your A guard, but I am not going to do that because that'll take up way too much time and I kind of already explained it. What? M me? Are you nuts? Oh, gee, um, okay, I'll do my best, I guess. Wait, do you have to do this anyways? Oh, I'm stupid! I said, okay, fine. Instead of, no. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I'm done being stupid in that we skipped that little, uh, little tutorial I didn't mean to go through. <laughs> well, I do believe now we're all set for our guest. Hmm, so down below we go. Hop on to this pipe and then press down with control stick. Okay, there we go. Hi yeah, yeah, I died is I do not feel like reading anymore and I know I'm gonna have to read a lot more. I'm not going to complain. We're just gonna be going down this pipe. Don't know why I wasn't exactly on the pipe in the first place. And on that first one, but I guess I was on the side of the pipe, so that's probably why it didn't work. And we're gonna be saving at most save blocks. 
I'm just gonna mash the A button through that. But there are a few ways we can go. Let's go over here quickly because there are a few things I do want to talk about. And by a few things, I mean actually nothing because the guy I wanted to talk to is over there. I will show this here because I guess we can go into this place. This girl right here will give you hints about where star pieces are, and I also think, well no, she'll give you hints about where star pieces are, and will also tell you what you need to do next. But, I most, for the most part, know exactly where to go, so we are not going to be using that. But, if we go down here, hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that. Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute? Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me want to totally fucking barf, you pieces of shit. Whoa, calm your language, baby. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get them. And now we have a fight with the Gangster Goombas. That is not actually their name, but I'm going to be calling them that. And this is our first technical fight. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach it. You'll have to jump for him. And this is a tutorial talking about enemies that you can only jump on, enemies that you can only use the hammer on, and also enemies that you can do both, I guess, okay. Oh, that's right, I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You can press Y to basically change the order of which you attack. But we are going to be attacking with Mario, since Mario is the better one. Now, I'm actually going to be doing stylish commands right there. I'm not exactly sure if the game tells you about those. But, you can do those. With Mario, if you press the A button at the top of your jump after you do the action command correctly, you can do a stylish move, and that gives you more appeal. But as of right now, appeal really doesn't do anything right now. And also, this is a Goombella's attack, as you see. It's basically like the jump that Mario has, but a little different. Now, I want to see if I can actually B-guard. No, I cannot B-guard, which I actually found out is a super guard. Now that it's a little more known or whatever. And also, that is the stylish command for the hammer. Press A after you release it, and then press A again when you land, you can do that. There's another hammer one later that's really cool, and you can get four stylish commands out of it, and I really like doing it. Ow! What? Man, they... <laughs> man, those guys have some re... They have, they have ups, man. They jumped up, like, three steps. For how small they are, like, smaller than the first step, that's a pretty good jump. Ha, huh, later on, losers, that felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So, if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. I cannot wait until the tutorials end. Yeah, I believe there's actually an enemy down. Okay, there's usually an enemy down around here, but it is not right now. So all we can really do right now is actually take this platform here, and those guys, I guess, aren't going to be going up here. And as you see, we have a suggestive sight of Goombella getting a little frisky with uh, Professor Frankly. For some reason, I always want to call Professor Frankly Dr. Goom. Which, that is not who it is. I don't even know if Dr. Goom is an actual character within the Mario series. But, we have we have more Goombas to fight. And this is an example of a first strike. Now, if this is only one Goomba, and I get the action command right, I can actually just kill the Goomba before the battle technically starts. And then, it's done. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I used to have a lot of trouble with the A action command, but then I randomly played this game again. And I never had trouble with it. Now, the funny thing is, you can also kind of first strike the Paragoombas with your hammer. But since the left on my control stick is kind of funky, it really doesn't work out that well. And I'm sad I didn't really get the other stylish. And that guy actually had a dizzy dial. I'm not sure if he's going to drop that. Sometimes if an, if an enemy is holding an item in battle, they have a chance of dropping that item. But as of right now, I guess it's like, oh, we haven't taught you about the items yet. So we're not going to be going into that. And ooh, another mushroom. I'm really happy it didn't go into detail about what the mushroom is. Now, can I, like... I wanted to go around him so I could get the fire flower, but I guess that's not going to be happening. Now, usually I would probably cut battles out, but since this is, like, the first episode, 
well, not the first episode, since this is the first episode where we're battling people, and these battles don't take long at all, I'm probably just gonna show all of them, because as you see, it's either, like, one first strike or just one turn, and I might as well show you what's over here. Over here is something we can't really do right now, we can't really hit this and these blocks, even though we hit those yellow blocks earlier, we can't really hit this block right here until a little bit later, so we are going to leave that for now. Let's just say that the underground of Rogueport definitely has a lot of stuff you can do, like, eventually we can go into that area right there and do some stuff and probably get an item or something else. I'm not gonna say what that something else is, because that's technically... We don't really know what that something else is right now. And we, I think we have a few other enemies after that weird rodent thing goes away. That was a first strike. Now, can I, like... Nope, I cannot do a super guard on that guy. That did not work out that well. And wait a second... I want I forgot to show off something. Let's use Tattle. So the way Tattle works is you want to press A when this cursor is in the middle, and then you can get a little bit of a Tattle of these guys. That's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows how much these creatures... Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee now, okay, it has 3 HP, so we're not going to be able to kill this guy in one hit, because as you see, our little jump only does 2 HP of damage. I really need to start going for the regular guard instead of that other guard, because that is not really working that well. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the stylish command is for the head bonk with Goombella. I may have to try it out a little bit and see what I can find there, but you know what? I'm actually going to say that that is about it for this episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the next episode, we are going to make our way, or I mean, we are actually going to continue making our way through this area right here, and hopefully getting to where the Thousand Year Door is. So, this has been Juddleplay saying see you later, and I think, never mind, is there, yep, there's a star piece back there. So, see you later, and goodbye.